Let's make an awesome firework animation in Blender. First, start by adding an icosphere. Then, switch to edit mode and scale it down. Tap back out to object mode and duplicate the icosphere into three places along the x-axis. Rename the icospheres, change the first one to fireworks 1, the second to fireworks 2, and the third to sample. Select the first firework, go to the animation timeline, and set the frame to 1. Press I and insert a location keyframe. Next, move to frame 50, move the icosphere up along the z-axis, and press I again to insert another location keyframe. Select the second firework, go to the animation timeline, and set the frame to 20, press I and insert a location keyframe. Next, move to frame 70, move the icosphere up along the z-axis, and press I again to insert another location keyframe. Select the first firework, hover over the animation timeline, ensure the keyframes are selected, press T, and set the animation type to linear. Then, repeat the process for the second firework. Select the first firework, then go to the particle system tab and add a particle system. Set the number to 500, the start frame to 1, the end frame to 50, the lifetime to 30, and the lifetime randomness to 1. Go to the Render section and set Halo to Object. Then, select the sample as the instance. Disable Show Emitter for both the Render and Viewport display. Add another particle system. Set the number to 4000, the start frame to 50, the end frame to 90, the lifetime to 150, and the lifetime randomness to 1. Set the velocity to 4 for the second particle system. Go to the render section and set halo to object. Then, select the sample as the instance. Go to the field weight section and set the gravity to 0.1. Now, play the animation by pressing the spacebar. Select the second firework and repeat the process. Go to the shading tab, create a new material, and delete the principal BZF shader. Add an Emission Shader and an Object Info Shader. Connect the Object Info's location to the Emission Shader's color then. Connect the Emission Shader to the Material Output Surface then set the Emission Strength to 40F. Go back to the Layout Workspace and switch to Render Preview Mode. Go to the Render Settings tab and enable Ambient Occlusion, Bloom, and Screen Space Reflections. Go to the World Settings and change the color to black. Disable the gizmo and overlay by unchecking their respective options. Now play the animation. Hide the sample object. To make the firework trail glow as it goes up, select the first firework, go to the particle system tab, and select the first particle system. Then, go back to the render section and increase the scale to 0.1. Next, select the second particle system and increase the render scale to 0.15. Do this for the second firework. 